the field next Wednesday. Ian Eckersley, ABC News. And don't forget, you can see Tony Lockett in action for Port Melbourne tomorrow in the ABC TV match of the day starting at one o'clock. There you have it, Ian, that's sport. Plugging on at Port. Indeed. OK, Ange, thank you very much. Well, the weather now, and it's definitely turned, Paul. It certainly has, Ian. The sales of Ugg boots and hot water bottles are skyrocketing around town. But if you thought it was cold around here, it was nothing compared to life in the Alps today. At Falls Creek, three to four centimetres of snow, the first real falls for the year, three weeks out from the official start to the season. And more to come on the weekend. Well, no 20s anywhere in the state today. 17 was about the best we could do at Mildura, Oyen, Walpiup, Swan Hill and at Shepparton. There was rain in all districts overnight, but the highest totals were in West and South Gippsland. 34 millimetres at Druin and 32 at Wonthaggy. Today, 5 millimetres so far anyway at Wilson's Promontory. Well, it was a sunny, if cold, start to the day for most of the metro area, but the clouds started gathering around lunchtime and there were some light showers and some rainbows too this afternoon. City temperatures from 10.4 to 16.1. It's now 12 degrees. Melbourne's water storages are just above half full. They're sitting at 50.8 per cent. Well, Friday around the nation was rain-free in these places, but look how cold it is across the southeast after yesterday's cold fronts. But the cloud to watch now is that thickening mass over Western Australia. Moisture is being picked up over the Indian Ocean and sent eastward in a jet stream. It's feeding into a developing low-pressure system and cold front south of the Bight now, but just west of us during tomorrow afternoon and moving through Bass Strait on Sunday. So rain is expected across the state late tomorrow or into Sunday, depending on how far east you are. Adelaide's in for a windy and wet Saturday, increasing cloud in Canberra, but it should be fine elsewhere and look at that, a very pleasant 24 across in Perth. If you can get a cheap airfare, which is probably almost impossible these days, into Victoria and the word is rain. Cloud increasing during the morning out here in the west with rain developing during the afternoon, spreading eastwards into the evening and overnight. Now the Bureau has actually issued a flood advice for rivers in the northeast where falls of 50 millimetres are possible about the ranges on Saturday night. Cold one tonight too, two or three degree lows inland. In fact, minus two up in the Alps. Northerlies on the bays at 10 knots in the morning. They'll freshen to around 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. There's a strong wind warning for coastal waters which are west of Cape Otway and east of the promontory. We'll be ready for a cold night tonight around the metro area. Seven in Melbourne City, three in the Yarra Valley. It should stay fine all day with increasing high cloud. Some rain will move in Saturday night, tops of 16 to 17 degrees. The rain overnight Saturday will ease back to showers on Sunday 16, Monday a few showers and a cold gusty wind 15 and 15 again on Tuesday. So a soggy weekend but it's good news for those on the land Ian. Indeed it is Paul, thank you very much. And that's it for this evening's sport and next up State Line with Cathy Boland from the newsroom for the moment. Good night. She won our hearts because she gave us hers. In words, Ruth might have used herself, but never about herself. She was rather special and quite extraordinary. And simply amazing. Hello, Arthur. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just...